hello friends welcome to our channel and today i will show you how to convert a non compact suffix try to a suff uh, to a compact version of a suffix try okay so a non compact suffix try is the one where every age will contain a single character of a word okay and in the compact version every age can have one or can store one or more characters of a given word okay so it is a compact version the compact the com the compactness algorithm works the same as we had used for the patricia that means to construct a patricia if you have not seen our lecture on patricia then i would recommend you to watch it it is present in our playlist so let us see how to convert here the non compact suffix try to a compact version so i have already drawn the non compact suffix try and i had shown you how to draw it in the previous lecture so we would start it from the root we would start from the root again okay wait a bit okay yes we would start from the root again and then suppose uh we take we start uh, compacting from the left to right way okay this is just my convention you can start from anywhere so you will store go so for storing go you can see that there is no branching in between go that is the node here node in here has no branch so you can you can take this go and include it in a single edge okay so make here an edge and include go why have we included only go and not this o go and and so on because this node this node this particular node which you can see has branching so we cannot include it in a single edge we cannot compact it okay so we have included this one after this node after this red one this red node you have two straight paths this one is a straight path and this one is also a straight path so whenever you have a straight path you can include all those things in a single edge and you can write these words o g o l dollar and the final node will be this number okay the num the suffix number so what you need to do is draw an edge and write in here o g o l dollar and then the suffix number this is a this is a suffix number 1 that is g o o g o l this one so you have included this now you can see that that you that you have stored many many such edges by using just two edge and three nodes you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 edges were required in the non compact suffix try but now using a suffix suffix version you have just stored it using two edges and just three nodes okay so this is way way better than the non compact version so see so let us see for the list for the rest of the part now see for l dollar you can store it using one edge l dollar because it has no branching and you can just write in here the suffix number after that let us see for this l dollar for this l dollar as well you will write l along with dollar and then the number okay then for the rest of the part that means we have covered 1 4 6 so 1 4 and 6 have been covered now for this part after o th this one this o after this o you have a node which has branching so you cannot shrink this o and you have to include this o so so this o will be included okay and it will have a single edge after this you have three straight paths see this is a straight path this is a straight path and this is a straight path okay So you have three straight paths. One straight path is G O O, uh, sorry, G O L dollar with a number with a suffix number three. So you will store with a single edge G O L, oops, O L dollar with a suffix number three. You will store the different one with the different number that is O G O L dollar with suffix number two. So you will write in here O G O L dollar. with suffix number 2 and this one with the third one with l dollar so you will store with l dollar and with suffix number 5 so you have almost covered all the all the suffixes 1 2 3 4 5 6 only the seventh one is left which is which is for empty string and you cannot shrink it because it is only composed of single character so you cannot shrink it okay and this one will be the this will show the empty string now this is the r compact 
suffix tri okay so searching is very efficient in this compact version as compared to the non compact version because you know that the depth of the depth of the tree for a balanced tree i am talking about a balanced tree so the depth of a balanced tree is approximately log n order of log n time it takes and here it will take order of log n time the same but you can notice one thing that the number of nodes in this non compact tree are way more than this this compact version why why because this non compact version has more number of edges here one edge can only contain that means can only store a single character but in the compact suffix tree one edge can store one or more characters okay so the number of edges will be far less in the compact version as compared to the non compact version and you know that if you draw an edge then one edge will have two nodes if you add an edge to this to this graph then it will add a single node if you add another edge then it will also add a single node so you can see that only the first edge adds two nodes and then the rest of the edges addition leads to the addition of only one node so if you have less number of edges then you will have less number of nodes so this height will be less so log n this one this log n will be way more less than this log n so the searching height will be less for the compact version so you will get the result sooner when you are using the compact suffix try as compared to the non compact version of the suffix try so this is how we draw and and this is how the suffix try works okay so in our next lecture we will see how to draw a suffix tree okay so stick with our lecture and if you like this lecture then please give us a thumb give us a give a give give us a thumbs up if you like this lecture then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you